All right, so generally the narrators are the ones telling the stories you're going to be seeing on stage. Each of the fairy tales, some tell certain stories, others tell more of other stories, but they both have distinctly different personalities, let's say. You want to elaborate? Um, so narrator one, she's definitely much more type A. She kind of just wants everyone to stick to the script and kind of get the show over with, which can make her feel almost intimidating at times. But I do think deep down she is a very lovable character. And honestly, once the chaos ensues, she kind of just embraces it and hopes for the best. <laughs> Um, narrator 2 is a lot more type B than narrator 1. In a lot of the scenes, she is kind of the funny one to narrator 1 straight man. Both of them really just kind of want to tell the story, but narrator 2 embraces the chaos a little bit more and a lot earlier. So my character is the girl. She is very poor, but she makes deals with a lot of sort of people and goes on a crazy ride as her life changes because of the deal she makes. And my character as the prince is a uh, very bad husband and father who leaves a lot to go golfing. My characters are special, you could say. Um, magical, you may put it. Um, my character is a little weird, both of them, um, but the raven give some news to someone. Um, so we turn the on and off microphones, make sure we can hear everyone and they sound equal, and then also make sure all of our sound effects are coming in on time and at a good volume. Uh, as stage manager, I basically just make sure that everything backstage is organized. So I make sure that any props and any set pieces that need to come on at certain times go on and just make sure that everything runs smoothly. So my favorite part of the fall play is how tight-knit of a community it is. It, we only have about 20 kids in our cast. Uh, I agree with Jocelyn. The tight-knit um, community of the play is so different than the musical. And I love both. But only having 20, 25 kids is really a wonderful thing. I would say my favorite aspect of the fall play in itself is that it's a smaller cast and you tend to become friendlier and closer to everyone involved in the production. I think my favorite is the Snow White scene. I find it really funny that everybody switches around the characters and it gets really interesting. My favorite part about the fall play, this one, is um, there's a lot of really fun sound effects that really make the show come alive. The main difference is that the musical is a lot more it's a lot bigger and there are a lot more things that we build for the musical. So we have bigger sets and more props and more set pieces. The fall play tends to have a lot more sound effects than the musical and the musical tends to have more microphones and a lot more people coming on and off stage more frequently. And another thing is we get to spend a lot more time with our characters. We're not worrying about 40 people or dances or singing. We kind of just get to look at the script and find ourselves and then play around with our characters in a way that there's limited chance to during the musical. Yeah, I think another difference between the fall play and the musical, like you said, you kind of just, you get more time with your characters and with the script itself. You kind of have more freedom to test the waters and see what works and what doesn't because since it's generally shorter because there's no singing and dancing, you have a lot more time to rehearse a smaller amount of material and I think that ends up being a wonderful thing for the play. In the musical there's a lot more moving parts. We have a pit, there's a bigger scale of everything and for the play it's a lot more chill and we could just hang out for a lot of it. There's not as much singing. There's no singing at all. Yeah so for a musical there's a lot more dance numbers and singing, and this one it's more straight acting.